Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about globalization as well as translation in Oracle Apex. Okay. And uh, let us understand what is globalization. So here, if you observe this particular uh, screenshot and this particular one, the navigation is from the application, shared components and globalization attributes. So this particular set of attributes, whatever, whatever the things which are mentioned here, right? So based on this particular attributes, the application will resemble nothing but whatever the date format, what are the time format, what are the language we mentioned, right? So based on this particular this particular set of attributes, the the particular Apex application will look look and I mean the look and feel of the application will change according to this one. Not the look and feel, I mean to say the attributes like a date and time and the format the language, it differs based on these particular set of attributes. So this is about globalization, right? And coming to the translation. So the navigation of a translation of an application is like this, application, shared components, and under the globalization, we have a link called translate application. Once you click on translate application, you will see this particular screenshot. And here, if you observe, this is a six step process, okay? The first thing what we have to do is, we have to define an application language. First of all, why do we use a translation approach nothing but let us say you have a you have a oracle apex application which is designed by default in english language and now what you want to do is you want to you want to like uh, whatever the headers column names which are mentioned in the in the english application you want to show the column names in the hindi or maybe you know like uh, some other language of french or swedish some other language so but how do we achieve that right so now we just need to click on define application language and mention which to which destination language you want to have it. Nothing but let us say I want to translate my application language to Hindi. So I'll prefer, I mean, I have to mention the application language as Hindi. Then you have to click on seed translatable text. Nothing but for all the column, name, column names where you can change the, I mean, wherever the column headers, wherever you can change those set of names to Hindi, it will download, right? You just need to click on see translatable text. It will download all this set of things. I mean, it will first of all see it. And after that, you have to download the XLIF translation files. Okay. Then, then after that, once you try, once you download the XLIF translation files, what we have to do is we have to replace, I mean, we have to mention the replaceable text, nothing but wherever you want to replace the English text with Hindi, you just need to mention the appropriate Hindi text value. I mean, if you are considering your destination language as Hindi, just mention that. Or let us, if you want to consider a Swedish, then you have to mention the appropriate Swedish language one. And then once you apply the XLIF files, then you have to publish the application. Okay. Once you publish the application, then whenever, when you run the application, you could see your application in a different language. Okay. So like, uh, these are some of the screenshots of that. Like, uh, first of all, where you have to define application language like this, mention the application language, then you have to mention your application ID. Okay. And then once it is done, what is the next step you have to do? You have to click on a seed. And once the seeding is done, you have to download the XLIF files. Once you have done the XLIF, XLIF, XLIF files, then what you do, you have to upload the XLIF files and click on publish. Okay. So once you perform that here, if you observe, right, let us say, I want to see my application in the Hindi language. Then what I do, I just need to change the globalization application primary language properties to Hindi. And once you run the page, you could see this particular language. Now here, if you see, right, instead of employee name, it shows Karmachari Sankhya. Instead of e-name, it shows Karmachari Kanam, right? So this is how it, you know, we can, perform a translation of application right now let us see the live demo now right now what i'll do is let's say i'll just try to create a new app now new application global app to okay i'll just create a page a report i'll just create a report yeah, just a report should be fun. The MP report. Next, create a navigation entry also. Mention the table name. And then click on create. Okay, just run the page. Right, the page is ready. So now what I want to do is, let us say, I just want to change these particular <laughs> column names. So what I'll do, I'll just go here in the application, supporting object, oh, sorry, shared components. And here, so in the globalization, let us say there are two things, right? One is globalization attributes, another one is translatable text, okay? 
so let us start with the translatable text first okay i want to change the i want to change the text right i want to change this column names what i'll do is first of all i have to define application language so i'll just click on define application language as of now nothing is defined i'll just click on create now i have to mention a new application id so i just really prefer what i can do is i'll just mention the existing one like a 139091 and followed by i'll just mention one okay and then i'll mention the hindi language here and nothing to change simply click on create now a translatable application language is defined here and then after that just click on translate again now what is the next thing you have to do click on seed translatable text okay now just select the application and here click on seed okay it will take some time and now the application got seeded okay so then click on translate again now download the excel files okay now mention the language and either you can download the individual page or you can download the total application let us say i'll just simply download the total application here okay and i'll just take care of this one so i'll just copy here and i'll mention in my folder okay this is a one 1390 related one and next thing what i want to do i want to replace emp number and e name okay emp number okay so here if you observe it says emp number this is source and it's a target so now we have to change in the target we have to change in the target so what i'll do is i'll just use a google translate and english to hindi i want to do a translation let us say employee name okay so i'll say i just copy employee name is this one and similarly let us say employee number it is this one right now let us see if you want to change a job also let us i'll try job okay it says come okay now this set of columns are changed what is the next thing you have to do now go to here right now we have downloaded the excel file now click on translate now apply the trans this is not required translate text is not required okay there's no option first of all if you see here right doesn't have any functionality to perform here just click on cancel here then click on apply excel translation files now what you have to do click on upload files okay now upload the file which you have done i mean which we have updated select this one scroll down and click on upload okay the file got uploaded and next we have what we have to do click on translate now publish the translated application so click here and then so before this one right in the translate remember here in this one in the apply we just uploaded but we have to clearly mention this also we have to mention this apply this one apply check okay files will get applied click on translate now go to publish translate application now select this one and now click on publish right now the required synchronization is no and the application got published let us see if we try to rerun just see whether it works or not okay it still shows the english names right you require a little bit change now what you have to do is go to click on shared components and now click on globalization attributes so here instead of application primary language which is a default english language you have to simply change to hindi and now try to run it and then just see got it so now the set of text got changed you can similarly do the change for the all that you know set of button names region names and all those things also okay so this is how you can perform a translation of a text okay now let us say 
if at all, if you want to change the format of the date, right? Now let us, if you want to change the date format and all those things, what you have to do is click on shared components on the globalization attribute. Now, by default, it follows the database specific formats. Now, if at all, if you want to change to your, your user specific formats, you just need to change here and apply the changes. That's it. When you try to get the date format, you'll get this particular information. Okay. So this is all about the globalization as well as a translation functionality in Oracle Apex. Thank you.